An unbelievable twist in the racing world. Is Tyler Reddick ready to say goodbye to 2311 Racing? Shockwaves are echoing across the NASCAR community as rumors suggest a significant shift in Reddick's attitude toward his team. But why does this dissatisfaction occur and what is the deciding factor in this surprising drama? The track witnessed a spectacular race, but the true race is taking on behind the scenes. Join us for an exclusive look at the unfolding tale that could change Reddick's racing future. But before that, please subscribe to our channel and hit the like button for more whereabouts on NASCAR. No one has been surprised by how hard 2311 Racing has been working to get their drivers into the playoffs this season. Both Bubba Wallace and Tyler Reddick have done well this season, so there was no reason to be negative about it. But at Michigan International Speedway, Michael Jordan's team took a huge hit. This time, it was because of something they did on their own. This season, the 2311 Racing team has been under a lot of scrutiny more than once. They should step up and help the drivers, but their mistake at Michigan cost Tyler Reddick a lot. Michael Jordan's 2311 Racing Team's pit road catastrophe continued on the track of Michigan International Raceway. The rain made Sunday a bad day for the race, so it was moved to Monday. Still, the race could go on on the D-shaped two-mile track as the sun broke through the clouds and gave the word for the race to start. Also, Tyler Reddick of 2311 Racing was in the lead at the start of the race but he fell behind the rest of the pack when the race was stopped. Even though 2311 Racing is still young, it has shown enough skill and talent to become a better than average team in the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season. Tyler Reddick drove his car to the winner's circle at Circuit of the Americas, giving the team its first win of the season. But there's no denying that the team has had a lot of trouble on pit road, and Monday's race was no different. On Monday, the 2311 Racing team's lack of performance was again on the show and this time it was Tyler Reddick who was hurt. To say he was angry would be an understatement since most of what he said on the radio about the crew had to be cut off by the reporters. At the start of the 2023 Cup Series season, 2311 Racing said it would build its own pit crew and stop taking people from Joe Gibbs Racing. The team was hopeful that it would give a boost to their efforts to work as a team and lead to improvements in how the drivers did their jobs. But it looks like the whole thing was a waste of time because the team is having trouble dealing with its Achilles heel. This was clear on the track in Michigan too, when Tyler Reddick's pit crew didn't follow the plan, costing the driver his place on the track once again. The accident happened when Reddick stopped on the pit road to get fuel and change all four tires. Before the gas man could fill up the tank, Reddick had to wait more than nine seconds. Also, the car's jack came down early while the rear changer tried to fix something. This was almost enough to make Reddick crash on the track. On the radio, Reddick was heard asking, are we good? Because he was angry getting done with the pit stop. The 2311 racing drivers have probably dealt with problems like this before. During the NASCAR Cup race in Richmond, Bubba Wallace's tire changer had a hard time with the car's jack, which got stuck on the car. Also, Reddick's crew chief was fired after the car failed the test in Darlington. Jeff Glock even wrote on Twitter, Understandable anger. How many races have the 45 team as a whole won this year? Martin Truex Jr. drove like a world-class driver, but the 2311 racing driver was just as good until things went very wrong for him. Both Reddick and the ultimate winner, Chris Buescher, went to the pits with 43 laps left. It was a smart move by both drivers so that they could go full speed on their last run. As we have discussed on Reddick, he had every right to feel upset about it. After running such a good race, he should have been at least close until the end. Surely it was a big mistake for a team whose net worth is said to be $150 million. It really broke the driver in the 45th place's heart. Even his fans showed his anger. After all, this wasn't the first time that the 2311 racing team did something like this. Fans feel sorry for Tyler Reddick when the 2311 racing team lets him down at Michigan International Speedway. Tyler Reddick could have scored twice as many runs in Michigan, but it wasn't meant to be. In fact, the driver from California was crushed when he came in 30th place in the race. Surely the 2311 racing team should be in charge of this. When people at the top make mistakes like these, it could be risky. Fans were right to criticize Michael Jordan's team on Twitter. They wrote on Twitter, How many times has this group screwed him over? Reddick is a better man than me. I would have just gotten out of the car and left the track right there. This pit crew is a joke. Terrible Reddick. His team owes him a lot of money. He has good reason to be angry. If it were me, I'd swear like a sailor. Both of their pit crews have messed up races, just like they did last week. 2311 is really good at blowing races on pit road. They've done it at least seven times this year. The 23 and the 45. Really, how many people could have been lost on pit road? I hate to say it's awful, but still. Others also wrote, This crew reminds me of the 11 crew from last year. I rarely hear Reddick get so angry, but he has every right to be. 
2311 doesn't seem to be able to have a clean race on pit road as a whole. Every week it's either the 45 or the 23. What are your thoughts on this whole incident? Let us know in the comments. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button for more updates. This happened again to show that the team still has a long way to go before it can run a race without any big mistakes and how it carries out its plans, and give it a boost to win more races. What happened to Reddick was not fair. Even though that is part of the sport, Michael Jordan needs to take a closer look at how his group is doing on the track this year. If this had happened in the playoff, it would have been a crime. Talking about the winner as the Michigan race weekend unfolded, Chris Buescher stepped onto the scene backed by three career wins under his belt. The triumphs at Pocono in 2016, Bristol the previous season, and Richmond just the week before. However, his resume expanded even further on that Monday afternoon, as he engaged in a fierce tussle with Martin Truex Jr. and secured his fourth victory. Buescher's journey to victory was punctuated by his resilient performance. After a respectable 10th place finish in Stage 2, he surged ahead, leading an impressive 52 laps during the race. The closing stretches were marked by his tenacious resistance against Truex's onslaught, as Busher valiantly fended off his competitor on multiple occasions, ultimately crossing the finish line first. This triumphant moment marked a significant milestone for Busher, as he secured back-to-back -back wins for the first time in his career in the Cup Series. Following his victory, Busher shared his elation with NBC Sports, remarking, That's what we come to do every weekend. Thank you to all the fans who stuck around here on Monday with us. It's awesome. Glad we managed to pull off the whole event. I'm aware it's been quite a lengthy weekend. The Castrol Mustang was exceptional throughout practice and qualifying. It gifted me another outstanding car. It was a hard-fought win with intense racing at the end. Martin showed great sportsmanship on the track, and I'm grateful for that. Celebrating a trip to victory lane two weeks in a row is pretty remarkable. Interestingly, Busher's track record at Michigan had been somewhat uneven. Prior to this win, his lone top 10 finish had been a 6th place result back in 2017, while driving for JTG Daughtry Racing. In the subsequent 8 races, his best showing was a 14th place finish in 2019. However, the narrative took a dramatic turn during the rain-delayed Michigan race. Demonstrating both speed and composure, Busher adeptly maneuvered through the field, outpacing competitors when necessary and, notably, holding his ground against the relentless charge of Truex, who was piloting what seemed to be the strongest car on the track. As the dust settled, Busher found himself ascending to the sixth position in the playoff standings, powered by his two impressive wins. Notably, he stood shoulder to shoulder with racing heavyweights Kyle Larson and Denny Hamlin, all of them boasting an equal tally of victories. So that's all we've got for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think of the video in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in the upcoming video.